Apollo 13 failed to achieve its goal. It didn't make it to the lunar surface. But what started as a failure turned into one of NASA's greatest success stories, a testament to both the crew and ground controllers, who simply refused to give up until the astronauts were safely home. Astronauts Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Ken Mattingly were set to explore the moon's Framora region. The first of several bad breaks came 72 hours before the scheduled launch, when Mattingly, the command module pilot, was removed from the mission after being exposed to German measles. Backup astronaut Jack Swigert took Mattingly's place. Apollo 13 launched on April 11, 1970. Two days later, about 200,000 miles from Earth, the crew wrapped up a television broadcast from the command module Odyssey and the lunar module Aquarius. The major television networks hadn't carried it live. The flights were becoming routine. That belief was shattered moments later when an oxygen tank in the spacecraft's service module exploded. Swigert was the first to call mission control. Hey, Houston, we've had a problem here. Configure in, please. Uh -huh. Roger, Houston. We've had a problem. Landing on the moon was out of the question. The new mission, get the astronauts home alive. The drama unfolding in space quickly captivated the world. With Odyssey running out of oxygen and power, the crew powered up Aquarius to serve as a lifeboat. Designed to support two men for two days, the lunar module would now have to support three astronauts for almost four days. Carbon dioxide rose to dangerous levels. Mission managers ingeniously devised a solution with what the crew had on board. Astronauts attached the command module's air filters to the lunar module's system using plastic bags, cardboard, tape, and an old sock. The ride back to Earth was cold and miserable. The crew had little food and water, and even less sleep. Before landing, the crew jettisoned the service module, and Lovell saw the damage. And there's one old spot of that big uh, business. Is that right? With the world holding its breath, Apollo 13 splashed down safely in the Pacific on April 17. NASA had pulled off a feat almost as impressive as a successful moon landing.